Hey guys, it's Austin. Welcome to your 13th Roblox GUI GUI scripting tutorial, and today I'm going to show you guys how to properly use Surface GUIs. So, I think I've said before how if you want to get input from your Surface GUIs, uh, like if you want to click events to register, mouse enter events, etc., etc., then it needs to be in Starter GUI, and you need to set it to Dorney from there. I'm going to open up the wiki surface GUI Adorni so it's the, the object that the surface GUI is adorned to in other words this defines which part it is attached to surface GUIs must be descendants of player GUI in order to know the player who is interacting with it and that's pretty much what I said about it having to start out in starter GUI uh, go back here I would personally make a folder, we'll call it surface GUIs, and I'll call it surfaces, surfaces, test, and then have a local script in it, and then just set them from here, adorn surface GUIs, script up. No, script dot parent wait for child test dot me equals game dot workspace wait for child test uh, part I'm gonna make a text button in this um, not ten pixels one hundred percent scale. Dorney, no. Ugh. Okay, there we go. Because I did not name that test, right? Yeah. And here it is. And now you see that, well, even if it wasn't adorned correctly, then the it would still color the button. But now we're going to test it with click event. Uh, a local script, because it is a GUI and it should not be a server script. GUIs should never be server scripts. Uh, child text button, button, mouse button, one click, connect, function, print, clicked. There's a local player dot name concatenation is a funny word. It printed clicked the player's name. Recurring nightmare. So let's see what happens if we just parent it to the part and we don't set the adorni. Nothing prints. Uh not even if we use a server script. That won't work. You should never use server scripts in GUIs. That is bad practice, my friends. So, uh, this works for text boxes as well. focus lost. Uh, that's an event of a text box that fires when you have lost focus of the text box, which means you clicked elsewhere to deselect it or you press enter. Uh, and it printed. And that would not work if we did not set the adorni. So uh, that's how surface GUIs work. You adorn them from the starter GUI. Post ideas for the next scripting tutorial in the comments, please, uh, whatever you want to see. 
uh, ideas for the GUI series, for the filtering enabled series, whatever you guys want to see, and I will see you next time.